Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week, I have got a game changer. Anybody that has done any type of sublimation, you know that when we're doing it on garments, that it is 100% polyester or very high polyester count and a light color or a white. And that just turns out absolutely beautiful. But how many times do you guys get asked to do sublimation on a dark color, a 100% cotton, all those things? Well, let me tell you, I discovered Caesars Sublimation HTV. So I've been doing a few test runs and believe you me, I do not have it mastered yet, but I was so excited that I wanna share it with you. I actually did up an apron for myself and look at that. That is full sublimation on this black apron and it turned out great. Is it perfect? No, Lisa is still mastering it, but I at least wanna show you the technique on how you can too can sublimate on a dark 100% cotton fabric. So today we're gonna to be making a really cute um, t-shirt. Fourth of July is right around the corner, so I thought it would be fun just to throw together a cute shirt. So I hope you stay tuned. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that I have learned so far, and believe you me, I am still mastering um, this new technique. But I'm gonna join you in design space because that's where we are going to be um, putting our design, we're gonna be using the Cricut to cut out our design, and then we're gonna be using my Epson printer to be printing it, and my heat press to be applying it. So I can't wait to show you, so stay tuned. And hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much, I so appreciate it. And hey, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. Try to do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So let me get my camera angle changed. I'm gonna join you in Design Space and let's get making. So let's start our project in Design Space. So I've already got an image that I had purchased quite some time ago, and it is these patriotic sunglasses. Now they come in very large, and so we're going to lock the lock button because I want to keep the, um, the, um, the sizing correct. And so we're going to use the print then cut feature. So I'm going to go 9.25 because that's as big as Design Space will let me do a print then cut. Now, when you are using Subly, the thing that we need to do is I do not have a Sawgrass printer. I have got an Epson printer. So we're going to do what Subly um, or um, Caesar says is method two. So what I need to do is I've got this image. Now I'm going to create a offset image and I am going to make that as close as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 0.01 and I'm going to apply. And then now you will see that I have got an image and I've got my patriotic glasses. So this is our background. Now our background, I want it to be the exact same size. So again, I've got the aspect ratio on and I'm gonna put this down to 9.25. Whoops, let's just type that in, 9.25. Now my glasses, um, for the background and my um, colored glasses are the exact same size. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. As you can see, they're both set up as print then cut. For the background piece, I'm going to print this on the subly paper. And so I am going to change this to a, we're going to highlight the background. I'm going to change this to a basic cut. So we are not going to mirror image. We are just going to do a basic cut. For our colored glasses, we want that to be a print then cut because we are going to print on our sublimation paper 
and then we are going to transfer it onto the sublink. So it might sound a little confusing right now, but the big thing you want to remember here is the colored image is mirrored and the image that you're putting on the sublink paper is not imaged. So if I go over to make it right now, I'm going to click make it and what's going to happen is my print then cut is going to come up first. So what we want to do here is we want to make sure we turn on mirror image. Very important here that this image is a mirror image. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click continue and that is going to bring up my print um, feature. Now, for those of you that haven't done print and cut in a while, you'll notice that um, um, Cricut has increased the size. So let's do send to printer. I'm going to select my Epson 7210. That is my sublimation printer. I'm going to um, leave the bleed on. And then I'm going to do system dialog because I want to go to my Epson setup. Now, when I click print, you will see that my um, printer options is not there. It is hiding behind. So what we need to do is just minimize and there we have it. So there we, these are my print options. And what I like to do is I like to go down to now your printer might be a little bit different but I like to go down to my print settings and I'm going to turn on quality print. Now I've already mirrored it in design space, so I'm not going to do the mirror here. And I am just going to go ahead and send that right over to my printer. So now we are back at design space. And what we're going to want to do is when we go to print this, I like to use the copy paper 24 pound to cut my sublimation paper. What I am going to do though is I do like to bring on the more. So I'm going to go ahead and get that printed and I'm going to cut it out um, on the Cricut and then we're going to come back and we'll do the second cut. So I've got my mat all loaded and I'm using a light grip mat. I've got my sublimation paper loaded and it's going in the direction that it shows on my screen. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the um, Cricut button off to the side that's all ready to go. And we are going to let it do its magic. Now, if you haven't used the print then cut feature before, what the Cricut is doing right now is it is reading those grid lines along the outside. That way it is checking to make sure it knows exactly where our design is. Now I have run into it at some point in time where it is, does not read those lines. And the biggest thing I've learned is the lighting. So if you have a problem with yours reading, you can always just put a little flashlight in there, give it a little bit of extra light so Cricut can see it. So it knows now exactly where the design is. It's checking for my blade and it is going to go through and do the cut. So we're going to let it do its cut and then we'll join you back over in design space. So we've got that one printed. Now we want to go to the basic cut. Now we are not doing the mirror image on the basic cut, but what I do need to do is I need to change my material setting. And I like to use the everyday iron on. I am not going to mirror image this. Make sure you don't mirror image. I do like with the subly paper though to put on the more. 
So we're going to go over and load our paper and I'll show you how to load that. And then we will get this one cut and then we'll be over at the heat press. So this is a step where the Caesar HTV um, Easy Sub comes into play. Now I picked up 10 sheets. Um, of the subly and the masking. I'm not going to use the masking today and I'll, and I'll tell you why when we get to that point. But I do have the subly loaded on my mat and you will see that there is a shiny side and a matte side. And so you are going to put shiny side down and the matte side is the side that we are going to be doing the sublimation on. Okay, so I've got this all loaded I'm using the same mat and I'm going to go ahead and just hit the Cricut button and I'm going to let it cut out our glasses and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join you over at the heat press and I'm going to show you how we put this all together and show you how the magic happens that we can supplement on a dark colored shirt. Really excited to show this to you guys. So we're over at the heat press and I've got a couple things going. One, I've got my heat press um, up to 400 degrees and that is what my sublimation paper, I just love using the A-sub sublimation paper. And on the back it says to do all textiles at 400 degrees. Okay, so 400 degrees and I'm gonna do it for 40 seconds. But first, let's get things prepped. So again, we've got two sheets here. We have got our subly and we've got our sublimation paper. So the sublimation paper, I'm just gonna carefully take it apart and it should come, I use that more setting so it cuts a little bit um, deeper. And so I've got that ready to go and then I'm just gonna pop out that middle part of the glasses. And there we are, we've got that ready to go. Now if you want a fussy cut just a little bit, you can grab your scissors and I've just got a tiny bit of white showing there that I could just, it didn't quite cut that off. Other than that, I think I'm good and ready to go with that part. Now, with the subly, it's kind of hard to see and you guys probably won't be able to see it on the camera, but I want to save this paper. It's not cheap. Um, so I want to cut where I see it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my weeding tool and I'm going to take away the extra. And this stuff just pulls apart very, very easily. Look at that, easy as can be. I'm gonna get out that middle piece. And there we go. Now, now what we want to do is, um, I'm gonna set this off to the side for a second, just so it's not in the way. And I'm going to pull this part off. Now, if I was using the masking, which I'll do another tutorial using the masking, this being one piece, I can use it just like this. And so what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to put this right on the shirt. But first, let's get that shirt cleaned up, okay? So what I want to do first off is I like to use my lint brush. And it looks like Lisa has needs to tear a clean sheet off here. So I'm going to tear a sheet off. I'm going to get it all nice and cleaned up. Okay, 
And what I'm gonna do, it looks like I still got the tag on this shirt. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a piece of butcher paper. So let's get our subly out of the way. I'm gonna grab a piece of butcher paper and I'm gonna put that over on my heat press. move my heat press around a little bit so everything fits in the camera right for you guys. So what I like to do is I like to find the center of my shirt. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my shirt in half. And you can use, a lot of people have the measures or different things that they can do. I just find sometimes this is just the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna take it over and this also will help me get some of the moisture out of the shirt, which you always want to do whenever you're doing a shirt. One thing I learned that I didn't realize, one of the purposes of doing the, um, is pressing it just for a few seconds, is to help get the moisture out. And that helps it so that when you wash your shirt, if something shrinks, then you don't have any of your um, logo or anything um, cracking. So now what I wanna do is I wanna get my shirt laid on my heat press. And I like to get the neck out of the way. I'm gonna pull my tray out just a little bit so I can get that adjusted. And since I pressed it, I know where my center is. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna take our subly Okay, and we're gonna have this shiny side down and I should be able to eyeball where the center is of this design. But what I'm gonna do is, and I like to put at least four fingers down. I'm even gonna put this one a little bit further down. And I'm just going to, and all we're gonna do now with the subly is we're just gonna tack this down just really quickly. Just gonna try and get that laid nice. Okay, perfect. Then I'm gonna put a push, piece of butcher paper over the top of it. I'm gonna bring up my heat press and I'm only gonna do about three seconds. One, two, three, boom. All we're doing is trying to get that tack down, okay? I've got that tacked down now. Now we're going to take our sublimation piece and it should measure exact. And we're gonna lay that over the top. I should be able to get it in there exactly. And this is where I'm gonna use some of my heat transfer tape. I'm gonna tape that right on. I got it all lined up just right. Double check this one. It's not quite laying perfect. So just take your time. Make sure you're lined up good. Perfect. I'm going to put a little piece of tape over the top there. Okay. Now, Remember my um, subly paper says um, 400 degrees for 40 seconds. So let's do 400 degrees for 40 seconds. Okay, we are all done. Okay, ready for the unveil, you guys? So excited. Check out our sunglasses. And you guys, that is in the material. Now, I will tell you, you can see, I've got a little bit of white there. I probably could have trimmed it just a little bit more, but this just feels, it, it feels like it's totally supplemented right into the shirt. So I cannot wait to do more of these. So exciting to be able to supplement on a dark colored shirt. So I'll give you a close up view of a few other things that I've done. 
And thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday.